Right, you. Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, welcome back. So we uh, we thought we would um, kind of take a moment here as we're getting ready to pack Vinny up for the season um, and do a little something on pros and cons and mods of our Gulfstream 2021. 21. 21. <laughs> the truck is 19. <laughs> uh, Vista Cruiser 19ERD. Um, we did a little shakedown cruise earlier in the year and kind of, you know, went through them quickly. Um, and um, one of the viewers asked if, you know, we could do pros and cons about this particular model. So we've had a full season under our belt in Vinny. And uh, we thought, well, as we're starting to pack them up and put them away and put them to bed for the winter, we kind of sit down and go through what we liked, what we don't, and what we've done. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect time to do it. It is a perfect time. So, and and these, of course, are just our opinions. Yes, they're they our are opinions. Our observations and you know mm -hmm. what works mm -hmm. and what doesn't work for right. us, right? For, so, yeah. You know, so uh, if it gives you a little help, great. Um, if you've got you know some other you know things that work and don't, hey, feel free to leave us a comment. But um, we'll go through and and give you our little rundown. Yeah, and we'll put a uh, link to some of this stuff if we can find it <laughs> in the description. In the description, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Okay. Frankie, you're up first. I'm first. Well, first of all, let's do the outside pros. Now, as I stated in a previous video, the one we did earlier on, Vinny has a welded square tube aluminum structure, uh, Asdell walls, and one piece fiberglass roof that goes all the way over, starts down at the bottom, right down the frame right by the tongue, goes all the way up and over, and down the backside again right down to where the bumper is. So it's a complete trap. So there's no cross seams. The only seams you have are where the holes where the, you know, where the AC and the vents are. Now, this coupled with Vinny's aerodynamic low profile, which really helps with wind resistance and drag, gives Vinny really good road manners. Oh, let me interject something here. You heard me say Vinny a number of times? Oh. Yes. <laughs> this is our name for our 19 yeah. ERD. It's yeah. Vinny. Vinny. Vinny the Vista Cruiser. <laughs> you know, so we'll be referring to him as Vinny. Just uh, you know, sitting there going, what the heck is Who, he talking Vin about? Who the heck is Vinny? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Vinny? <laughs> Some Italian guy coming in? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it gives Vinny really good road manners. And he tows really well. Now, with today's fuel prices... And this is a big bonus, you know, I mean, seriously. So, with that being said, I'm going to go to, what's our coffee maker? Mr. Curie. <laughs> I'm going to go get go on to um, pro number two, outside. Well, in, in, outside, inside, it's a Vinny's UVW, which is unloaded vehicle weight. It's 3454. And how do I know that? It's on a sticker right up there in that cabinet. So that's from the factory, as that's, he came from the factory. As Vinny came from the factory. That's with the air conditioner, propane tanks, everything that came from the factory. So we're at about 3454, or well, precisely that's what they say. Now, usually we go out for four days or a week, or heaven forbid, two weeks. <laughs> working yeah. on it, working on it. <clears throat> we usually wind up with around 39 to 4,000 pounds. That's our clothing, uh, groceries, you know, utensils, and the stuff in the front storage compartment, you know, like our chairs and table and mats and all the cables and all that stuff, right? We're right between 39 and 4 grand. So, for a 19-foot travel trailer of this size, the, the weight is really, I think, really, really well. Now, that being said, I'm going to say that's about all the pros outside. It pretty well covers encompasses the whole whole trailer, right? Would you say? Yeah, yeah I think so. Outside, I, mean, I think just to just a uh, to oh wait. To, well, hang on, just to add before we move on for, to, to the vehicle weight, is that we we wanted a unit that we didn't have to upgrade our tow vehicle, right? So uh, Vinny tows very nicely behind our. 2019, 2019 Nissan Frontier. I wasn't going to get into that, but and no. it's it's towing rating or capabilities. It's a four-wheel drive. It's sixty-two fifty. Yeah. And Vinny loaded with our stuff is four grand. If we have anything left over, we usually put that in the truck. Okay. But we get 
you know, we live up here in BC and where we live it's Yeah. To go anywhere you gotta climb a few hills and whatnot. Yeah. But the but the point being that we wanted a unit that gave us the room that we wanted, um, without having to upgrade the tow vehicle. Right. And <clears throat> and Vinny and Franny are Franny's the truck. Franny sorry, Franny. <laughs> We name everything. <laughs> oh, and that's Janet. Yeah, <laughs> that's Pookie. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's a it's a it's a well matched unit, and that's what we wanted because we yeah. didn't want yeah. to have yeah. to to get a bigger truck. We don't have room for a bigger truck. <laughs> and I don't want to pay the extra gas. No kidding. You know, we get we get decent gas mileage. For you U.S. guys, that's we get around fourteen miles per gallon. Yeah. You know, we keep it at sixty, and it'll and Franny will tow Vinny all day long. On rollers with cruise control. Yeah. So it, it, it's a perfect little match for us. For us. You know, yeah. Some people like 70 miles an hour. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Right? No, yeah. no, we don't. But would you. Um, now that's actually a, a con. We'll get to that. Okay. Anyway, so let's go to the cons outside. Right there. First of all, this bit about uh, the guy that had sealing this unit around the windows, the doors, mm -hmm. marker lights, tail lights. <laughs> You know, um, is it adequate? Oh yeah, it's it's adequate. It's, it's you know, it's good and sealed. But I think he lost interest about halfway around or something like that, because it's pretty sloppy. Some of it, like the front part of the window, is really nice. In the back, it's got sealer. Like you know, again, that's me. And um, so over a period of time, I'm going to be cleaning this off. I think they could have done a much better job, because it's a lovely looking little unit. It's very eye appealing. And then you look there and you got this the sealer in there, right? Anyway, that's that one. Another one, con number two, is Vista Cruiser, are you listening to this? Gulfstream? <laughs> Gulfstream. <laughs> you could have put an access door right here to get underneath this dinette seat. It's not a big dollar item. It would have been so much more convenient. Wouldn't have added any big weight. Deal. Wouldn't add any weight. You know, I mean, granted, you know, Vinny has a big storage compartment up front. It's long. It's all the way across. And I got a lot of stuff in there. But up here, you always got to lift this, the dinette seat. Yeah. You know, but would it have been a, a nice option or a nice add to the unit? Yes. Deal breaker? No. no. So, Gulfstream, if you're listening, hey. Yeah. Give that some thought. Yeah. And uh, what else we got here? Um... Right then, on our, let's go to the underneath, underside, which I was a little bit disappointed in. Um, I may be a little bit anal, but let me give you a little background on me. I worked for Bigfoot RVs, Bigfoot Motorhomes and RVs, for eight years, and five of that I was quality control. And um, so I'm a little bit picky about this sort of stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> I had a reputation. But anyway, Bigfoots cost money. They were going to go out perfect if we can get them that way. Uh, any of you guys have Bigfoots? Don't talk on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, underneath, I went underneath there one day just looking around. Of course, all, all those guys like to play with our toys. So I was under, I'm looking and going, really? You know, like in the frame, the sides of the frame, they have these openings. And they're, they're covered, the, the edges. And what's that opening for? Run your plumbing and electrical through. Nice up there. What do these guys do? Went down and around. Really? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. There's nothing you can do with it now. Well, you could, but it'd be a major op operation, right? So, and it in a couple places. I, I, that just totally baffles me. You know, in some spots they did it, and in some spots they didn't. And, and I'm looking at them going, what could have been the reason? I have no idea. And while they're working under there, I believe... I believe there was, there was either a shortage or a premium price on electrical tape, right? I mean, talk about sparing electrical tape. Sparsely wrapped with electrical wires? And, you know, electrical tape over a period of time out in the weather and stuff, it starts to let go. The guy could have done a much better job on that. So, I went under there and I got some this uh, foam pipe covering and covered the pipes where they're down to kind of more exposed because... And driving down the road, stuff flies up. It can, you know, damage things, right? And the electrical tape, I wrapped it up real good and used some of this split loom. This is a little part for the smaller parts. You can get the little bigger ones. And covered it. It's not a hard job. I taped it up, I tightened, and I covered it. So everything is relatively well protected under there. 
So that's basically the underside. Now, one more con. Yes or no? It might be or might not be for some people. Sewer hose holder? Oh, yes. <laughs> if I might interject. <laughs> yeah. Um, Finney's got a nice back end, i got to say. Uh, it's, Ooh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it took us a while to get used to not seeing an actual spare tire hanging out back there. But Vinny has, as we said in our previous video, a token bumper. Yeah, you run into anything with it, it's toast. It's toast. So why they couldn't have made that bumper, the four-inch steel square tube. square tube for the Stinky Slinky, I'm with not sure. Caps on the end, right? With the rubber. It's so easy. Vinny came with a sewer hose holder. About yep, this big. About that big. About this big. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Frank added a... a, a full width one under, underneath, underneath, underneath the back end. Yeah. And the thing is, how many people have actually, you know, I know it's come across with us. We needed two sewer hoses. We just couldn't reach. Yeah. Sometimes you need more. Right. So a long one, I mean, you were not getting it and I'm not putting in those storage compartments. Thank you very much. Or, yeah. just, or in boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we've seen on, uh, on the, on the Vista Cruiser um, owner site on, on Facebook where, you know, some of you folks have gone and gotten the, the PVC, um, uh, what do you call it? Just, Square, yeah, they're the fence, the foot, but yeah, the I think they're five inch, posts, right? yeah, but they'll work. Uh, um, and, and mounted it on the back um, yeah. by that, we'd, we'd already done the up underneath, so yeah, yeah. I mean, there are ways around it, but it just would have been so much easier to be done at the factory. Yeah, the thing is, too, when you have a bigger sewer hose holder, mm -hmm. you get your fittings will fit in there, yeah, you don't yeah. have to have an extra box for fittings, yeah, right? So, anyway, anyway, those are the cons for the outside. Now, the pros and cons, the outside of any, yep, we really like them, we do. We really, whoops. Hello. Mr. B. Mr. Hug B. Off. Mr. B. Any Mr. Mr. B. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, we really, really like him. Oh, he's all right. He's all right. He'll settle down. Um, so let me let me close the screen door. Yeah, that's so not a bad continue. idea. <laughs> now that he's in here, right? Now that he's in, yes. Oh, well, we'll let him fly around. Anyhow, um, so, yeah, so you're done outside. We can move inside? Yep. Okay, so moving inside to Vinny. Um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> right, anyway. All right, so, inside. Right, Pros. inside. Pros, what we Pros. like. Everything. We're sitting at it. <laughs> We're sitting at it. This was one of the big selling features for us in this particular unit is, is the dinette. It's huge. All the wraparound windows. Uh, we really like that because if you think about it, when you come to a um, to an RV site, for the most part, you're backing into the site. Your view is typically out the back. So that's one of the things that we like. All the windows open, so lots of breeze if we want it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we like that. And we changed the mount of this table. So we've put the two stanchions underneath it, and it's been permanently mounted back here. So it's just the two of us. It would never get dropped for a bed, so we mounted it permanently so it's good and firm um, and gives us plenty of space to work when we've got the computers and stuff out and whatnot so that we like that mm -hmm. uh, and comfortable seating like the I mean as with all RVs right they don't put the top line you know cushioning in but, but, but it's, uh, good and adequate. it's been it's been adequate yeah, yeah, for, yeah, sure. yeah for sure um, storage storage for us is adequate um, when we got Vinny <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I was concerned. <laughs> I, I, I thought, oh man, there's just not there's not enough storage in here. Where am I going to put everything? Um, but once we got out into Vinny and got things kind of sorted and organized, there, for us, there's more than enough storage. I, mean, I don't know what I was worried about, but um, and Vinny is ready to go 98% of the time. He's got his own dishes. He's got his own silverware. He's got his own clothes. Everything's ready to go. It's just basically toiletry stuff that's got to come out. So he's ready to go. Everything is in that needs to be in when we go somewhere. And it all fits with lots of space. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, happy accident. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> we've actually found some more space. Yeah, um, no, no, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. No, I was hanging up right above the fridge. There's a panel. And I thought, well, it'd be nice to put something on that panel. So I had this little decorative thing and I'm putting it up. And guess what? The panel goes, <laughs> I'm going, oh, crappy. What? Pen nails are no deal, you know? Yeah. You know, but anyway, long story short, there's no way you're going to. I tried to pull it back and glue it, and, and I thought, forget it. So now we have a nice big we have compartment up there. We have an open cabinet above the fridge. And what we did is the, 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 the compartment up there uh, 
is big enough to where if you use half of it, you've still got plenty of ventilation for the fridge. And if you put some, put it on end at the, on the fridge, it'll have circulation underneath. So there's plenty of circulation after I put all the panels up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. and it looks great. It looks so. great, and it, and it works really well. Yep. You know, it was a happy accident. Yep. So well, that one worked well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, another thing we like about being on the inside, rounded corners. Oh yeah. Yeah. As you look, as we sit here and look down towards the the bedroom area, the the bathroom bathroom if you cubicle, if you will, is rounded. There's no hard corners, so it just yeah, it really it, softens the look. Yeah. It, it, yeah. And um, it just I don't know, it just makes it more. I don't want to say upper end because that's probably not a great term, but, but, but it just you know you know also like when you have these corners, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. You bump against them. You hit it with your shoe. You yeah. hit it with something, and, and you wind up chipping it. You're taking you're taking finish off. Yeah. You're taking finish off, and uh, with that, you don't have that problem. Yeah, yeah. And it just softens it up. Makes yeah, it look and it's so on the inside too. It's not just yeah. the outside. The inside is rounded as well, so yeah. it, it, it's just kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. very nice. We, we quite like it. Um, solid surface countertops. The the countertop that's here in Vinny. Granted, there's not a lot, um, but it's solid surface, all one piece, sandwiched with the gray, so you get a little nice little two tone finish there. Um, so really easy to take care of and it's matched with a, a big stainless steel farm style sink, which is kind of cool. It's the biggest sink I've ever had in an RV. Um, so yeah, really like that. The only thing that we, oh, that's mods. I'll get to that after. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Hey, the range hood. Now, uh, range hood and Vinny, nice stainless steel, uh, nice LED light and the fan actually works. We had an Airstream where the fan was in the it, I've not had an over the stove fan unit that's actually done what it's supposed to do. This one, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah we I, was, were surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. It's oh, kind of like, it's kind of like, oh, hon, okay, let's try the fan. <laughs> but yeah, I know it works. Um, USBs. Vinny's got lots of USB plugs. Um, we had to find them initially. <laughs> but some are in a weird And some room. are in kind of weird positions like <laughs> this one right up here. Uh, there is an electrical plug and USB plugs right above the sink. Like, uh, it, I don't quite get that, but whatever. There are two up there. There's two more underneath the dinette right here and another electrical plug. Well, maybe that's when people are sleeping, they can charge their phones here. Maybe. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And there's electrical, and there's two USBs on the other side? On the side, two of them, yeah. Two on either side of the bed. So right. what's that? Two, four, six. You got eight USB plugs in there. That we found so far. <laughs> there <laughs> might, there might be more. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there, there's, there's lots. Could they have put another couple of electrical outlets in? Um, yes, yeah. but we'll get to that when we get mm -hmm. to mods. Okay. Um, the room. The space that we have in Vinny. Um, previous unit was again a small unit with a slide, uh, and that unit was the first unit we'd ever had with a slide, mm -hmm. which was it was it was fine. It was good. Uh, it did give you extra room, but it just I don't know the slide. Right off the bat, there it was persnickety. It was will. yeah. Uh, so it kind of made us nervous, um, and we yeah. thought you know, is there a unit out there that'll give us that little bit of extra room, and not have to have a slide. Ta -da. Ta -da. Um, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's roomy enough for us. Again, it's a couple's trailer. It is, it is a couple's trailer. You know, and, and maybe a dog or two. I don't two. know. Two. Maybe. Really? Maybe. <laughs> Big maybe. <laughs> but um, uh, it, it is more than adequate for, for what we use the unit for. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, we, you know, we're still working, so we don't get out for extended periods of time. Well, four day long weekends um, and the big trip is usually a 10 day, two week or sometime during the year. But, um, and we just came, came off of our yeah. 10 day, 10 day trip and Vinny worked flawlessly. Oh yeah. It was, it uh, yeah. was, yeah, we're really, really happy with this particular choice in, yeah. in, in RV. Yeah. So Vinny also has a split bath. Um, so the toilet and vanity are one side and the shower's on the other side. And the way that it's designed, the door opens up, you close off the back end, which gives you the, the bedroom and the, and the bathroom shower area and a bit of a dressing area. And somebody can still be doing whatever they need to do up here un, undisturbed. Yeah, it's a big bonus. It's the way they designed that, yeah. you know, it's, it's really well. Yeah. And um, again, pleasantly surprised with the shower. We're both six foot over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there is plenty of elbow room yeah. in that shower. Yeah. Headspace and elbow room. Right. Yeah. Pretty so good. we're pretty happy with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, pros. We're pretty good. Cons. There aren't many, but there are one or two. Um, in the kitchen, back to storage. Adequate? Yes. There are three drawers here. Actually, there's only like 
Two and a half. Two and a half. Because one of the drawers is half depth. I don't understand how Whoa. that happened. Yeah, that just you know, <laughs> baffles us. But anyway, What's up with that? we're going to fix that. Yeah. And we'll have three full drawers, but yeah. that was just an oddity. Yeah. Um, let's see. Bathroom. Underneath the sink... Uh, there oh. is a there is a cabinet yeah. which you could yeah. have under sink storage, but uh, they got a little, again a little sloppy with the plumbing. And I, you know, it's it's a, it's a tight space, and they've got most of their unit the, the fresh water, the tank rinse, and uh, the spray nozzle piping coming right in there. Yeah. Otherwise, they would have had it mounted on the wall or something. I mean, I can understand where they mounted it. And uh, is it is it in the way? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Could they have done a little bit, given it more thought? Yes. Yes. But... Deal breaker? Mm, no, no. Absolutely not. No. It's just one of those things you kind of find and go, well, they could have done this better. Yeah. Right? Um, let's see. Maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't. You're surely going to as soon as I mention this. The back window is not centered. So if you're lo all looking at this light going, <laughs> if you're all looking at this light going, why didn't you put the light in the middle? Well, actually, the light is in the middle. <laughs> Pookie, you letting your OCD run away with you. I know. It, 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 it drove me crazy when I first noticed it. But you know what? It's fine. Um, why the window's not centered, don't know. Well, I have a theory on that. Oh, it, okay. Frank does. Yes. You know, uh, some units, people like to put a ladder on the back to climb up onto the top. Mm. Right? And there are units where the window is this side. That makes sense. So that where the ladder will go there yeah. versus covering, covering the window. The window. you got to look at the, the stupid ladder all the time, right? Okay. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. yeah. But there's, I've never seen one of these with a ladder on. Yeah. So it, it's just kind of weird, but yeah. it, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and mm, the blue lights. What is it with the blue lights? Oh, dear. I'm so I'm sorry. I know. It, OCD again. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't understand the fascination with the blue LED lights. I just want to throw that out there. Um, mm -hmm. They are never on. <laughs> if I could figure out how to turn them off, I would. If I could figure out how to make them go white, I would. But anyway. I have a theory on that too, but I uh, know we're not going to get into that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so pretty much that's it for cons. I mean, there is not a lot that, you know, no. we have found that is... is no, they put it together very well inside. Mm -hmm. There's a few places, of course, pen hills are loose or something, but you're going to get that in all units. In any unit. In yeah. any unit. We've in had lots of units. and Yeah, including all an Airstream, problems. brand yeah. new from the factory, and it, it, we had more problems with that than... Yeah, we had problems. With, with, so it just... Yeah. yeah it, so, I mean, but all in all, the mm -hmm. way they, you know, everything is done, like even at the bed, the bottom, the corners are rounded. It's not square. That's right. Okay. That, that uh, okay. That could be another little bit of a con for me too. For the with the bed, is it that sucker's high, man? I mean, again, we're over six feet. You sit on the end of the bed. Your feet don't touch the ground. So, my thought is they could have cut that down a little bit. So you could have got a little more of a better mattress on there, and maybe you wouldn't bump your head on the top. Golf streamer, just, are you listening? Just thinking. Just, just. No, but after a while, you get used to getting in. Where you, don't you, bump do, your head, you, you do. You know? do. But I this think it could be on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I think they could have done a little better that way, but anyhow. Anyway. All right. So, mods. Let's move on to modifications. We have honestly not done a lot of modifications, and we are not the kind of folks that do a lot of modifications. No, no. I think the biggest modification we ever did was, an was in the Airstream when we reconfigured the front dinette. Yeah, we Other ripped it all that, out and put in a new dinette. Yep. Other than that, for us, it's just <clears throat> little things, right? Um, so, for instance... This is a mod. This did not come from the factory. Um, and uh, actually, this we kind of got the idea off the, the owner's group on, on Facebook. Somebody had done this and really liked it. So, And it's such a huge difference. Yeah. Because what was up here was, of course, one of the little pan yeah, LED it lights. Really... And it's like in your face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is much softer um, and it's much nicer. So yeah. that, that was a good find. Yeah. I'm going to switch it back. Yeah. You know. Yeah, little rocker switch. So yeah. that was that was good. That was that's nice light. Um, mm -hmm. We talked to I mentioned earlier um, more more electrical plugs, and one of the things is the electrical plug. If you're working on the dinette, is down here. So you're running wires over the table. So my handy dandy hubby um, has his moments. Yeah, <laughs> ran a plug off of the dinette up to the back of the table. So when Mr. Keurig is on the table, he's plugged in. 
when the toaster's on the table, for it's plugged in yeah. for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we're working on computers or need to charge things, it's right here, as opposed to wires running down, right. you get, right. getting in and out of the dinette, you're tripping on stuff. So it was uh, it was easy peasy. It looks good. Yeah. It was quite easy to do, actually. Yeah. You know, you, you run the wires down below the dinette, across the bottom, yeah. and then into the dinette seat, and you just scab into that plug over there. Yeah. And you get the cable covers. Which we did. Which we did. And it just, it's just a nice, neat little job, and it's not very difficult at yeah, all. Yeah, but, oh, so handy. But the thing is, you got to remember, if you're going to use this as a as a bed, Yeah, yeah. Then. you may want to rethink that or something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Again, because our table is permanently mounted, Yeah. we don't have to wear the plug. Um, let's see. Shoe storage. Hmm. Little thing, but um, we've got a little, was it one, two, three, four pocket um, shoe storage thing on the end of the dinette mm -hmm. for shoes coming in and out. Mm -hmm. Right, so that they're not on yeah. the floor around here. Tripping anyway. all over them. Exactly. Like and then we have a, a larger one that wraps the entire end of the bed that's got slippers and flip flops and those kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. Again, so nothing's yeah. flopping around anywhere or, you know, and it's out of the way, nobody's tripping on it. Um, magazine netting, the netting, right? We've done some of that um, right here at the storage for yeah, magazines. We started that a couple, a couple of units ago. Yeah. And we found it's quite handy. Yep. Yeah. And uh, another one um, next to the stove for cutting boards and that kind of thing. So that yeah. stuff's up out of the way. So and it's, it's pretty handy back. stuff. Yeah. Other side of the bed for cell phones when they're charging, um, books and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Just It's just little stuff, right, that gets thrown here and there. But it's yeah. it, the netting keeps it off the surface. They, they use a lot of it on boats. Yeah. You yeah. Know, and, and, it, and it works really well. It's not that well, expensive. Well, I mean, it's used a lot in, in the RVs as yeah, well, yeah, but yeah. You know, we just added extra because actually yeah. Vinny didn't have any, so we, yeah. we, uh, we added our own. This is how we didn't come any. <clears throat> What's that? <laughs> 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 um, yep. Happy accident. Our, our, um, uh, extra storage above the fridge. Our found storage. Yep. Um, we've added an oxygenic shower head. I know lots of you have done that, but we, we did that in here as well. well and because, because of the site. I'm sorry? Because of the Vista site. The Vista site, yep. And then um, everybody had did it. Yeah, did it, lots, did lots, it. Had, lots had done it. <laughs> so we, we gave it a we, go and we thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, that's a great yeah, idea. That's, that's uh, I mean, just uh, with us, <clears throat> I had to think about mounting it because mm. of the weight of it. Okay. It is a heavy head. It comes with one screw, basically. And uh, when we travel, yeah, we take it down. We take it down and lay it across the, the faucet just yeah. because it is heavy. Yeah, and there is play there. There is some play there. And we thought, okay, what is it going to take to, when we, you know, do our final walk around inside yeah. before we leave, take it down and lay it down. It, it rides very well there. Yeah. yeah. Vinny rides well. I mean, we leave Kleenex boxes on here and it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we put a single soap dispenser up in the shower. You know, one of the ones that you push the button and it yeah. dispenses. Yeah. So uh, no bars of soap kicking around, flying around, anything like that. And the season gets drained. Mm -hmm. We uh, put a towel bar in the bathroom, vanity side. Yep. For you know, face towel, hand towel. Um, I put some little uh, cafe curtains over the windows in the in the back bedroom just. Because well, actually, actually, that was you know. <laughs> actually, it's OCD again. No, not really, not really. <laughs> Somebody likes to have the room relatively dark. I like it dark. Okay, to sleep. like and at home, she a lot, a lot of times sleep with a sleeping mask on. Mm. Okay, so we're these are not as you can see the light comes through. Yeah. Okay, so she thought she would put some really heavy blackout curtains and me, no. I don't go for that. What? We can put aluminum foil on there next? No, that ain't happening. So basically, we found some nice material. Oh, uh, no, they were actually cafe curtains. They were cafe curtains. Yeah. Nice cool. material. Matches everything. Yeah, they look really good. Put the little rods, and you, you, we just this, put them up underneath there, yeah, and it works rods. just fine. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's just it actually enough. softens the, the bedroom up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You know? And the thing is, you can leave them drawn. Raise this up and open the window. Still open the window, yeah. Right, so let the breeze come through. So it has it has merits. Yep. yep. And then yep. the OCD. It just it's nice. It worked out well. <laughs> okay, this one's cool. This is um, there's been some discussion. And we've seen it on the on the the owner side as well about the the back vent, which oh. is right over the bed. Right. Right. So we have a a, a Max 
cover, a Max Air cover right. over our band. All our band covers are white, right? right. Um, and the big discussion is, do you go white, do you go black? You know, if you go black back there, then you lose the light back there, it's dark, it's, and it's kind of like, okay. But it's like a flipping skylight back there. If it's, if it's you know, summertime, again, I need it to be dark. <laughs> So, yeah. Frank found an RV vent cover at one of our local hardware stores, Canadian's Art. And it is not, it is not the cushion. It's not a cushion. No, nope, you don't stuff it in there. It is, it's almost like, um, you know, it's, it's you, like a vent, the, the pull down vent shade, the old ones from the cars. In the car, yep. yep. Same idea. Same and idea. it works like a hot damn. I mean, a hot, it, hot diggity. <laughs> <laughs> it, so cool. I mean, it just, it, it blocks the light. It, but there's, it doesn't seal it off. So if the vents open, you still get airflow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It that's cat's meow. That one. I'm, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, happy we were, with that. At first, I was debating about it. Uh, mm, yeah, because I got to drill a couple holes in there. Yeah, mm, yeah. So we put it up. Well, you yeah. Know, first oh, yeah. time we used it. Yeah. This one was over the moon by. Yep. Because it really darkened it out, and when you get up, yep. you just open it up and. Yeah. Yep. Um, we added some auto on off uh, cabinet lights to the storage above the bed. And to the flip-up storage under the under the bed, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. when you lift the bed up, the light comes on. They're not hugely powerful, but they're just enough to to let you see what you need to see. Same yeah. oh, same with the one above the bed, and they're it's their motion sensor, and they only stay on for like I don't know, what is it 30, 45 seconds or something? Yeah, and they shut themselves yeah. off, but they worked out really well. But well, one thing with these is they're uh, rechargeable. You don't ah. have double A batteries. I hate that, you know. But in the scene, you got. Do, we do all the AA batteries, right? Yeah. And these are rechargeable, and the way they mount is they're actually magnetic. You get a little plate that goes on the wall, and they're actually magnetic on there. So when you need to take them off, you just take them off, recharge them, and put them back on. Because the first time I saw them, okay, so how are you going to recharge these things, all right? Mm. But the way that the mount surface is, yeah. it works quite well. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and I think the last thing is back to our kitchen sink, and all we did was add one of these little... Um, Spray nozzles. Spray thingies on the on the on the kitchen sink with the sink being so big. Yeah. And I have to say that the the faucet is really super tight. Like it's super tight. It doesn't turn that well, so this kind of <laughs> eliminates the need for that. And the little sprayer works like a hot diggity. A little a couple of little stories on these sink things. Uh oh. These spots. Well, I remember in the last unit we had, or the first first unit, a couple of units ago. Yeah, two units ago. It blew off. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh my God! And they actually had green. Oh yeah, the scrubby sponges in there. Scrubby sponge, yeah. And we turned it on when I turned the water on. She turned on, and it wouldn't come on. And all of a sudden, the whole blade thing. The whole yeah. You know, and then we had to replace the one in the airstream. Oh, one in the airstream. Yeah. He had to float that, alone. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that was before I knew much more. Much about the RV RVs stuff, and stuff. Yeah. You know. but, Could have got something at you know, some hardware store. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. So that that's our pros and cons and mods on on Vinny. Again, um, we we don't tend to do a lot of modifications to the yeah, units that yeah, we buy because yeah. when we buy a unit, we buy a unit we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, don't have a problem with the color scheme in this particular one. Um, you know, we add pops of color here and there with with our own stuff. Um, and. Um, Space wise, perfect. It's perfect. I mean, yeah, we, we, you know, we we keep saying that. This is actually, <clears throat> pardon me, the best one we've had, <clears throat> as far as overall Usab usability. Yeah, usability. Usability. Yeah. Uh, the layout. Um, you name it. Um, you know, there's another little. How shall we say outside. Con. That we're going to have a little video on. It'll be a short video. I'll show you what what we did. Yeah. And uh, we're not going to give it away right now. So, uh, but it was all taken care of nicely, so it was no big deal. But it's something that somebody might wind up encountering. Issue, yeah. Encountering. Mm -hmm. So this is what the problem is, and yeah. we'll tell you about that yeah. another time. Yeah. So yeah, we um, again, this has been full season out with with uh, with Vinny. Four weekenders out for two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, he's been on a ferry. He's been up and over the mountain passes here, and and uh, just been really, really pleased with his tow ability. Yeah, really. Um, his um, just manner, the way he follows. Yeah, road mannerisms road. on the road, yeah. um, and then just an ease of setup, ease of hookup. 
yeah. Um, yeah, we've we've been really really pleased. Really pleased. Yeah. Um, Can't get over it again sometimes. for a couple's trailer. Okay. Yeah. With one dog. We don't have a dog, but a dachshund maybe. It would, oh, a little, little don't go one. there. Don't go there. <laughs> we we had one. We used to have one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's been um, it's been good. I think we've had like, we've had Vinny out all season, and the TV hasn't even been on. Yeah, no, it hasn't. Been on. Um, I'm sure it works. <laughs> Oh, this, we brought this one. We did, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we took out the, the stock unit and replaced it with a smart TV. So, yeah. But, um, so there you have it. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about today, feel free to, you know, leave a comment. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got any ideas of your own and, and want to share, hey, leave a comment. We'd love to hear them. Yep. And, for sure. um, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, that's about it, eh? I think we're good for now. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to call this mods. Cons. Cons and pros. And pros. Well, pros, cons, and mods. Pros. We're going to call this puppy a rat. <laughs> it is. Okay. It is. And um, thanks yeah. for joining us, and we'll yeah. see you see next you month. next month. Bye now. Bye. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Remember, subscribing is always free. And we'll see you next month. Thanks again for watching.